You can add thickness by using your Z modeler brush by going into B Z M for Z modeler. And if you over a poly and you press the space bar, you can come here to poly group all, for example, that will suit this case. And you can grab a poly and start pulling. Uh, so this is a way of adding thickness. But the problem is you can't use this with subdivisions. And if you have a high poly mesh, this is not going to show you any feedback of how thick it is. So I have this demo head here with no thickness at all. And we're going to learn how to create this and add, them, add this to our UI. So let's start with this thickness button. I got loops, I got thickness. So this is going to de determine the amount of thickness you want. And this is going to determine how many loops you want in the edge that you're going to create for your thickness. So if I just have one and I press thickness, this is the result I'll have. So I get two polygroups, one inside, one outside, and I'll have the thickness polygroup. Now, just to show you the difference here, if I add two, let's say three loops and I press thickness, now I got three loops in my border. Thickness is going to control the amount of thickness you want. So if I add a little bit more thickness here, press thickness, it's going to be thicker. Now I also have another button that we're going to learn how to use. Uh, that is thickness subdiv. And this works if you have subdivisions in your mesh. So if I just bring this back, I have some subdivisions. I have three subdivisions here. And if I press thickness subdiv, Boom. And all my subdivisions are available and I can cycle two of them. So nothing changed there. And I got thickness. Okay, so let's learn how to create these buttons. And if you don't want to learn how to create these buttons, you can now go to the description below the video and press download save macro and start watching from there. Okay, to create a thickness macro, open up your demo head in your light box, press no, come to your subdivisions, bring this down to two so that we can use delete lower and delete higher. Come to macro, new macro, press no, delete lower, delete higher, go into your edge loop, bring your polish down to zero, click ignore groups. Bring your bevel down to zero, your elevation to minus 100. Press panel loops. Go back to your macro and macro. Program files. P for pixel logic. Go into your ZBrush. You start up. Look for macros. Go into misc. And you can call this thickness. And press save. Now to create a macro that brings back your subdivision levels, let's just open up the demo head again. I'm pressing comma to bring back the light box. Open up this demo head. And I'll divide this up to six subdivisions. I'll go into my lower subdivision before I start recording. Go into macro, new macro. Say no. I'll press higher subdivision until I get to the highest one. I'll delete lower. Panel loops, and I bring these loops up to 16. Polish to zero, bevel to zero, elevation to minus 100. Press ignore groups and press panel loops. Come up here, press reconstruct subdivision. Keep pressing it until you get all your subdivisions back. Go back to macro and macro. Go into Pixelogic ZBrush, Z Startup Macros, MISC. And you can save it with a name like Thickness Subdiv. So if you go into the download link in the description below, it will bring you to this page. All you have to do is press this button. Save it wherever you want. Let's save it here in the desktop. Once you have it, you can open it up. Then all you have to do is copy everything here. Go wherever your ZBrush folder is. I have mine in E. It's usually in C, so program files. Look for Pixel Logic. 
your latest version, go into Z Startup, look for macros, misc, and you can paste it in here. Control V, I already have them, so skip these files. Now we can place these macros in our UI. So if I go into preferences, press enable customize, go into macro, press control and alt at the same time, grab these here, place it in there, grab my other one, place it in there. And now there's something else that I like to have accessible here. So one thing is my loops, so I can control the number of loops. Just bring this back here. So I'll just grab my loops here. And the other thing is thickness. Just uh, place it there, bring this back here. I go back to preferences, enable customize, and then you can just press store config. Next time ZRush opens up, you'll have these new options up here. Now let's say you use your thickness and you have a result like this. You can either press Ctrl Z to undo, bring your thickness down and try that again. Or you can press Ctrl Shift, click on the outer part of your mesh, press Ctrl, click anywhere in the canvas, Ctrl Shift again, click in the canvas to bring back the rest of your mesh. And then you can go into your move tool, BMV. And you can start bringing these in again. Just control drag and you sort it. So I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. Press the bell button for notifications. Support me on Patreon if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.